Tell him. I think it's an hola. Good afternoon, hola, YouTubers. Thursday afternoon, Jen is uh, breaking her cherry today out on the Avenue of Love. And there's the phone of fame straight ahead. Show them that over there. No phone call today from the girl. I got her out here today. And we are uh, chooching today. Probably, I don't know what the weather is going to be like. It's a little rocky right now, but I'm trying not to bump Jen around too much with this crazy. <laughs> the Avenue of Love is not very. <laughs> I got to take her down back. It's uh, friendly. It's crazy here. Uh, oh, man. It kind of usually is, but not at this uh, gas station right here. Everything's usually pretty good in Santa Rosa, but it gives me a hell of a nice arm workout today, anyway. And it's good to have Jen out and uh, get get some air. Although she was out outside all day, I can't believe it, guys. She cut the. Uh, Cut the whole back, uh, the whole back uh, quarter acre there today. I could not believe it. So I got home and she was kind of grinning like a Cheshire cat today. So I knew that she, uh, I knew that she did something today. And uh, you did that, didn't you? I did, but I can tell you, I'm not doing that again. <laughs> Why aren't you doing that again? Because once is enough. It, that, huh? uh, that was it. it was, yeah, it's just too much. Once with an op, so you really need, uh, you really need shock absorbers on this ride today. You never really think about being in a uh, wheelchair until you go to push one or you push yourself in one, and then you really appreciate how shitty all the dips and bumps are when you uh, go along. And some of the people are pretty nice. You know, some lady was pulling out of a driveway and she backed up to let us through and stuff. I appreciate that. You know, you have to stand there and wait. So I get back to the first order of business as I have to spank Missy Jen for doing all that, uh, doing all that work outside today and doing all that grass cutting and everything. How did it do with your allergies? So I'm actually getting rewarded. I'm getting rewarded for uh, being bad. Yeah, you're getting rewarded for being well, bad. Well, I'm sneezing my butt off. The Last week, I've been sneezing all the time. Yeah, you're gonna really get hit hard. Unfortunately, in two weeks, I'm already on my uh, spray and the uh, flowers. And so I think we'll chooch down this road. Sometimes I come down here. It's a very smooth surface road. You can show people we're just chooching down here. In some of these houses. And turn that camera around and give people a view of what we're doing today instead of looking in my mug all the time. What are we doing? Oh, we're chooching. Huh? What are we doing? We're chooching. But no dumping. Yeah, huh? no dumping. Yeah, no dumping. You take a dump there. You're the taking a dump. Down and you're here. done. And this is a nice quiet street down here. And when yeah. we get to the end, I'll show you this really big ass. What kind of tree they call that? Uh, well, I can't remember what the hell it's called, but it's got this. It's huge. It's some kind of tree when it catches on fire, like when they have forest fires and things. This thing explodes and showers embers for like miles around. I just can't think of what the hell that name is of that kind of tree right it's now. Some, some kind, kind of, of Australian tree or some kind of yeah. BS. You look to the left here, show them over there. You got some pretty, uh, pretty roses over there. Some people really like here some more over here. Some people really like their. They're pretty roses, and they're nice ones. They got some. Ours are starting to come good, aren't they? Out front, getting, yeah. a few, getting a few blooms on the Rancho de Rosie, and uh, got some Jen. kind of a wildebeest coming in and eating my marigolds. We have a problem with uh, things called earwigs, and there's things that look like they got little uh, pincers, little bastards on the front of them. Pardon my language, and. Uh, Right there, but <laughs> she should have herself in the uh, video. And those things come out in the dark, and uh, they're really stripping off all the leaves on those that marigold. So I'm gonna have to hit that with a little bit of a uh, little bit of stuff to get rid of them. Because if you went out at nighttime when it's dark, you'd see them all over that uh, plant chomping away and stuff. So what yeah, do you think about um, our weather? It doesn't really feel like. Uh, I'm saddened by that one marigold is almost completely skeleton. 
Yeah, my skeleton eyes, they have a hell of an appetite. So we're going to get those... Uh, well, the weather today is something else. Yeah, it's kind of weird, huh? This morning it was uh, dark clouds coming from the ocean. And uh, it looked like it's going to rain. Well, then they started to spray. Like crazy, and uh, spraying the spraying the air. Then it dissipated, and now it's uh, getting really cold. Temperature are dropping, and there's a uh, dark clouds coming again. Some more pretty roses in front of this house. Yeah, there, there is. See as we go by, especially past this tree here. That on, yeah. They have a lot of pretty colors in here. People in uh, Santa Rosa, and the symbol is a rose for the city. They take a lot of pride in their. Uh, their uh, rose bushes and growing roses. You can see some of those pretty colors. I love them. They don't have a hell of a lot of scent to them, but they're, uh, they look good anyway. Be careful. Ninos, the kids playing in the street, please go slow. Nice old California style house over there. It's one of my favorite choo-choo streets. Kind of nice to get Jen off the main uh, main thoroughfare. It's kind of nutty up there. Can you see this thing? I can't see this thing. Huh? Where were we at? Yeah, here I am. Are you? Are we on? I can't. I can't see anything. I think anything. you might have taken that uh, focus <laughs> in too much. There we go. I can't see anything. There we go. Okay, okay, where did we go? you can't see anything, that means that uh, telephoto. Is <laughs> Sorry, I'm. So you just, just keep it like that and just turn it around once in a while. You don't have to see exactly when you turn it. You'll get used crap, to choo-choo with the uh, crappy rosy HVC 100 here. This thing has been through hell and back. But, uh, kids here. So, oh yeah, it's called a eucalyptus tree. That's what it's called. And when those things catch fire, they're, it's illegal to uh, grow them and import them in California now. Because when you have the uh, fires and stuff, they're like torches. They just throw off these huge explosions of burning embers and just set off the whole neighborhood. Just, you know, October, hi. Come October. November, when the super dry and the fire season's here, my goodness, you will certainly smell brush fires in the air and uh, all the burning of that. Is it nice and quiet down here? Yeah, Compared it's to like the Avenue of Love up there is like a. It's like dead out here. It's like dead out here. So, how's your hand it's holding up with that, huh? I'm doing all right. You know, you did a lot of work today. I'm really, uh, I'm kind of happy Jen cut that uh, grass, but that's a hell of a lot for her to take on. There's a uh, weeping willow. They're kind of a rarity in uh, Santa Rosa over here. Once Turn upon around a time show the on the. Weeping yeah, Willow. Man. That's where Thomas died, under a weeping willow. Yeah, and uh, you know, they're good at finding <laughs> water, right? And they'll find your uh, pipes to your water supply and stuff. But it's rare to have them here because it's so dry in the uh, summertime here when you don't have rain for seven or eight months. Yeah, you yeah. should hear them weep when they don't get any water. Yes, this oh person has God. like a little Japanese type of garden over here. There, right. yeah. They got like a little soji screen that the wind blows and that uh, the thing kind of moves with the wind. Kind of cool looking. It's a very California looking home. You see that uh, moving with the wind, those yeah. mirrors or whatever the hell they are. And then they got these weird oh, they got this, this bicycle. They got that bicycle. I saw every, that. Uh, every year Santa Rosa has what's called a... Uh, a regatta and they take old time bikes and they put them on the rail line to run and they uh, you have to run them under your own power and they have a contest yeah i've seen them on drive on the other day yeah, that's the that was uh, obviously in the regatta so kind of cool what they do here in the city down at railroad square that's where the snoopy statues are the bronze one down there wow. i think we're okay now you're not on telephoto so you can see everything good here and right straight ahead is that huge eucalyptus tree. You can see the, uh, the diameter of that, uh, that trunk at the ground. It's got to be like uh, 13, 15 feet around. I think it's just huge. This is one of my favorite uh, chooching streets. I can't bring Wolfie down here too often because there's a lot of dogs that growl up at the fence and all that kind of bullshit. But see the size of that tree? I think it's... 
thing is huge. I hope that thing never catches fire. Yeah, those well, things are like creosote and uh, almost like trees of gasoline. I think we should get rid of it and just set it on fire and burn it down. Well, I'll tell you, I don't want to be around <laughs> when that thing is. Yeah, see how huge that trunk is on that it's thing? Like the small flower Look there. at that thing. You'd have to have uh, probably five or six people joining arms, tree hugging California style to get your uh, get your arms around that motherfucker. So. Big and huh? That thing sheds yeah, a lot and it puts on pods. It's a big old it's tree. It's pretty know. big. That's huge, that thing, that trunk. You can I'll carve bet. a door through that thing. I bet that thing will burn pretty good. You can see with all the dead stuff how it ca would catch on fire. Yeah. Or something. It would be like uh, kindling up there. So. Well, we've turned around. Be started to head back. So. Got to fight our way back down the uh, avenue of love. Again, a really lousy day of work for me. Of course, not many more days and I'll be done this uh, work and going over to a private uh, physician's office. And that will be Super Duper Gary Cooper. Koopa. That's right, Super Duper Gary, Gary Cooper. Cooper. So what else did you Did you make some videos for the uh, boys today? I have not made any videos at all. Because they don't I, want to see me, they want to see you. Because I was busy all day. Uh, all friggin' day. All, it took me all day to do that mowing well, stuff. Well, you can tell we got some stuff coming up tonight from what did we do yesterday? But uh, there's uh, uh, oh, our haul from the shopping. Yeah, our trip to eat. Uh, it's going to come up and we ate in Pataluma breakfast. We got some coming up there. We got the uh, shopping. We did a lot of video shopping. And yeah. Naked in the dressing room. Yeah, I need to actually check my camera. I think I got some material there. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get edit. that material so we can get that. Uh, and then uh, get that put together. And I've then we got, have a little uh, fashion show. Last night we showed all of our haul. Did you run the Bose uh, beatbox today? No, I have. I've been outside all day. Yeah, that's a good I'm thing for you to be outside. It's good. And I had no time for anything fun or anything Pretty today. Soon it'll be those blistering hot the sun will be a scorcher, but then you step in the shade and it's cool. You don't have the humidity out here, so. But I've got the uh, frilly socks today in the mail. Oh, they came, huh? Uh, black pair and nylons. And then there's uh, red, red ones. They all they look really. They're, I mean, they're, they're kind of like. Uh, they excite me. Or? Yeah, they got that <laughs> ring around. <laughs> Boing. <laughs> they got a frilly ring around it. They got the frilly ring around it and stuff. And you find them on Amazon. Yeah. yeah you can find anything on there. Can't and you? then the, the red ones are kind of like a fine fishnet kind of thing. Yeah. Well, that some, uh, 50s Ray Man sunglasses. So, so tomorrow, yeah. Okay, go ahead. So tomorrow I'm gonna be busy making videos with those Philly socks. I'm gonna make a couple of sweeping vacuum videos uh, and some whatever comes to mind. So tomorrow I'm dedicating to make videos. Alright, the video making day and I'm working half a day on Friday. Video Fridays. and resting. And we will be out at what, dinner tomorrow night? Yeah. Out and get I'll it check done. this out here for all the old antique car lovers. It's a 280SE 4.5. I think that's the diesel. Mm. That, that is actually should be a gas. That's a gas. Job. Otherwise, it would say diesel. When I was a child, we had one of these in baby blue, just like that in baby blue. Where do you think that is? That's in the 70s. 70s, huh? It's a real huge mobile. That thing uh, burned up the gas, didn't we it? Had, uh, we had actually the 180, 180 uh, it was a 1.8 liter four cylinder in baby blue. Nice. And, uh, nice. 
that car actually has a sad memory because a, a child was killed with that Mercedes. That's an ugly story. Yeah, the kid that I lived with on the farm, he was 18 and he joined the military and he actually took the car and uh, a kid rode his bike in front of the car and hit the f fender with the head oh and uh, it was dead so instantly. The driver, it was somebody in the so bike. those cars were made basically out of solid steel, not like today. Yeah, you want to be in an accident in a Mercedes, one of those because yeah, yeah. they only got what, like eight or ten miles a gallon? Actually, that 180 did get like 50, 60 miles a well, gallon. Pretty good for uh, Mercedes. Yeah. People don't buy it for fuel economy. Those days. All right, but everybody. anyways, yeah, that's that. <laughs> I think that's uh, that's going to be a wrap for us. We don't want to make a record uh, long <laughs> chooch today. We probably did. We're going to enjoy the last of the sunshine. It might have a few sprinkles tomorrow. And it's been cool, so I don't know how much uh, bikini vids I'm going to do and all that, but we will see. So We might do some glass cutting with our hard nipples. Yeah, we do got the hard nips today. I'll tell you what, boy, the headlights or the high beams are definitely on today. And a shout out to the new subscribers on our uh, channel. Thanks so much for coming over. Yes, thank you. Us. We try to get stuff up there every day. Some days more, some days less, but we try to uh, try to be amusing and entertainment. So thanks for uh, thanks for being out on this afternoon's chooch, and uh, have a great afternoon. Goodbye. <laughs>